How's it going everyone, it's me Vivi and welcome back to some Sly Cooper. So for this one, let's talk about some concept art for Sly 4 Season Time. Now this idea was on my mind as well for a long time. Genevieve Tsai, that's the English pronunciation. If you want to go with the French one, it's pronounced Genevieve. Tsai was credited as additional character artist and designer. She has a blog where she posted all of her work she's done. Well, at least a few, if anything. Back in 2013, this was her intro paragraph. The art I'm about to go over is mostly Carmelita, alright? Hey guys, I've been so busy with work and moving and all this house stuff that I hadn't had a chance to make this huge update. I worked on Sly Cooper 4, These and Time back in the Senzaru days, and it finally released February 5th. This is a late update, but I just wanted to share some Carmelita concepts I did. The direction was to age her up and make the game for older, adult audiences. Alright, the thing that caught my attention are the words she used. Age her up and make a game for older audiences. Huh, okay. Cause I'm pretty sure the majority of people kept saying, okay, for the next game we need something that's more suitable. Well, how can I put this? Not an edgy game. Something darker, something, you know, a game which targets the older fan base, but at the same time attracts younger newcomers, of course. But the thing she said, age her up, older audience for Sly 4, okay, interesting. Genevieve, I think, what you're about to see, she went to just a bit further than expected? I don't know what exactly she was told, and her art looks fantastic by the way. Here's the first one. Yep, Carmelita in this one, she does look older indeed and does aim at an older audience. Do I have to point it out? <laughs> Notice even the blood marks on the concept. If that is blood or spelled ink, it is blood, right? Considering the fact the whole point was to age her up, I mean, that's probably blood. You know, the whole make the game for older adult audiences. Looking at this, overall, the design is exactly the one we have in Sly 4. The costume, the hair, the earring and all that, the skirt. We had all that in Sly 4, but just looking at this concept, there's something different. And I'm sure you see it. The second one. Yep, uh, older Carmelita are right. I don't think she ever wore that dress in Sly 4. The one she wore in the intro, at least, was blue with stripes over her shoulders. In this one, she has a pink highlight. I mean, it looks pretty cool, but I prefer the whole blue for her hair. As for the design, it's similar to the first one I showed you, facial design and everything, but uh, the shock pistol looks different in this one. It could have been a different weapon they had in mind, maybe. They did use a different weapon and timing is everything, but that wasn't part of the game, right? That was most likely a early design for the shock pistol for Sly 4. Looking at the dress again, I don't know, maybe this was an original idea for a side mission that got scrapped somehow later in development, something we aren't aware Aware of? I mean, I wonder. Well, I mean, she was given a task to draw, right? These were her ideas. I guess in the end, they just chose which one to use. Like, this dress could have been part of the intro, but they decided to go with the blue one. Number three, yep, I'm not gonna argue on the whole adulting Carmelita. There's a different boot design, and yeah. There's a lot of stuff going on in this one. There's a lot of Looney Tunes vibes, ain't it? Looney Tunes, right? She definitely looks younger and more cartoony. I can see she had a lot of fun with this one. Her vision of Carmelita's accessories included a something, well, something similar to the Binocucom. Something more portable? I mean, honestly, if they had gone with a design like this for the Binocucom, I mean, it would've looked nice. I mean, this is Bentley we're talking about. For, like, future iterations, it'd be cool to have something upgraded. I mean, come on, Bentley made a time machine? I'm pretty sure he could make an even cooler-looking Binocucom, like the glasses you see on this screen. If for future games we get something even more, well, futuristic for the gadgets, like the Binocucom, I'd be up for that. Okay, that one looks like Carmelita is all like, you know, ready for some Montoya action ringtail? I mean, look at Sly, he's, uh, <laughs> he's all shy. Hmm, are they like taking their relationship to the next level? Look, I'll just stop. This is a kid-friendly channel. As we can see, 
Tsai did think of different choices for the outfits, even went as far as to play around with her tail markings. Many, many people hated the fact that Carmelita wore a skirt. The stuff I've read, people have written paragraphs talking about this issue. People really bothered by it, I'm not even kidding. I mean, I was never bothered by it, it's just a skirt. I wasn't even bothered by it to the slightest, but that's just me. Her final design in the game, her jacket looking at the concepts, it's all closed in the back, like plain. No tights, but she did keep her earring. Here's some of her hair, she did work around with some. Had ideas for highlights in her hair, but she went back to pink, the one you saw before, but they scrapped it in the end. Here's some art for Dimitri as well. I believe they used the last one for the credit scene, you know, him becoming a celebrity scuba diver, and his reality TV show, that segment in the credits. You can uh, see a couple of concepts for Dimitri, but looking at this one, it's very close to the design we had in slide 2 and 3. There's some art as well for the fish and the fishing caves. One has a hat. It really shows how she was having a blast with this one. Later on, she went on to share concept for Ryu Richie's level. A bathhouse? Uh, I mean, not everything was used, but some ideas in her drawings were, you know, recycled. Some were taken, some were not. The spinning fan blades, for example, were part of Ryu Richie's sushi shop when playing as Ryorichi. As for the bathhouse or spa, that concept, I believe, was used for the secret hidden area in ancient Arabia to find the hidden Sly Mask. Ah, this one. Carmelita belly dancing in Sly 4. Oh, many hated what they did to her. What I've been reading, in short, people have been saying, why was she belly dancing? It's not part of her personality. I mean, she was like, oh, I'm not gonna wear that. People have been saying, but the outfit she wore in Sly 4 was already revealing. You know, all that kind of stuff. Honestly, when I played Sly 4, when I reached that part, I found it funny. Is there anything wrong with that? I mean, she was stuck in time. What was she gonna do? Run away? Get killed? I don't know. But yeah, I understand they could have come up with another idea. But <laughs> that segment was funny. Alright? You're probably shaking your heads. I know some people found it cringy. Some people despised that part. But yeah, I'm just gonna leave it there, okay? Because talking about Sly 4, I feel like you're throwing yourself in fire. Like, like these days, that's what it feels like. Next, you know what? Belly dancing in the outfit we saw in Sly 4. Okay, alright. But look at this one. When I saw this, okay, I just sat there for a minute and thought to myself, if people thought her belly dancing outfit was too revealing in Sly 4, then in which category does this one fall in? And comparing the two, I understand why they toned it down. Here's a side view of Carmelita's final concept. I don't know. There's something about the two. Like the one on the left, yeah, it's for a more adult audience. But the one on the right has the same design outfit and everything, but... But there's a more cartoony aspect to it. I'm not an artist, but the one on the right, sure it follows the same uh, clothing and all, but it looks more kid-friendly if you want to put it that way. But anyways, the next few are so adorable. Here's what she had to say about these ones. These boards I did were originally going to be a tutorial for setting up the remote for PS Move at the beginning of the Sly Collection minigames. He's so happy. Indeed, he looks happy. Looking at these, I don't know if they were just like uh, pictures, you know, moving from one to the other, or they were planning an actual animation. She didn't share more detail on it, just that she worked on these. Here's a story she imagined for Ryu Ricci. I did talk about this one, I believe, in the Ancestors video I made a while back. She calls this story random, okay? But I always took it as something, you know, as backstory. All I'm gonna say is that's as canon as it'll ever get. Story time with Vivi, yay! Ryuichi was on a fishing trip one day and caught a giant ferocious great white shark. He was about to kill the shark, but it pleaded for its life. That's when Ryuichi noticed a mysterious mark of the Cooper clan on the shark's chest. Perhaps he was a fan? Ryuichi spared his life, and in return the shark swore loyalty to Ryuichi and served as his mount at war. They were victorious together and were graciously rewarded by the Emperor. As years passed, the shark grew too old to fight, and knowing of Ryurichi's dreams to begin a sushi house, the shark asked Ryurichi to honorably sacrifice his fishy friend and use him to start his sushi restaurant. He even drew dotted lines on where to cut the choice meats. At the shark's funeral, it was a bittersweet end. Ryurichi wept for his friend, but he also produced the finest, sweetest, most succulent great white shark sashimi. Ryurichi builds his famous sushi house. Now he's baller. The end. Tell me in the comments, did you know this 
backstory. And about these pictures, you would find them in the sushi house, on the walls, I don't know if you ever noticed it. Next, before there was Sir Galath, there was Sir Robin. Interesting. The posters you find in the circus mission in medieval England, they're the same. Same in terms of layout and stuff and design, but the model got replaced by Galath. Now the interesting thing about this one is, was there really a Sir Robin? Why did Sai even think of Sir Robin? There was no Sir Robin in the Book of the Ancestors, the Therius Raccoonus. Did Sai just think of Sir Robin on her own as inspiration, or was she told to draw Sir Robin? But if it were for Sir Robin, there would be a continuity error. Maybe the team thought of that when she came up with Sir Robin, I don't know what happened exactly, but they switched to Galath in the end, we know that. Here's what she had to say. Before there was Sir Galath, there was Sir Robin. These are the original banners I did for the circus tent, before the character was changed to Sir Galath. The story behind this was that Sir Robin was held prisoner and is forced to go through horrible circus acts as torture. I wanted to give him these banners a dark, humorous spin on family-friendly entertainment ads. Okay, maybe Sir Galath, no, uh, my bad, Sir Robin was supposed to be part of the picture. You know, just a picture of a different raccoon. Not uh, all Coopers. Well, not all raccoons were Coopers. Surely, right? So maybe that poster we saw of Sir Robin was just a random raccoon. But then the team thought, okay, let's put Sir Galath instead because he's actually in that tent. She envisioned the quarters Sir Robin was confined to, according to these drawings. Medieval England happened in 1301 in Sly 4, when we time traveled, that was the date. Between 1300s and Sly McCooper, which is 1400s, we're talking about a hundred year difference. There was no mention of Sir Robin in the book. We only had Galath and Slay when it comes to those dates, 1300 and 1400. Surely between those dates, there was someone else. Was this kid, well, was this ancestor named Sir Robin? Could he have been the child of Sir Galath? I mean, he would fit into the timeline, right? Even too, I always believed many more ancestors were part of the line. We just haven't seen him in the book for who knows what reason. Between Galath and Slay, surely there was someone else. It could have been Sir Robin. But for some reason, he did not record his or her. If it's not Sir Robin, it was someone else. Their adventures in the book. But the book still managed to pass on. So with that guys, this is it for the video, so tell me in the comments, have you ever seen this concept art for Carmelita at least? Maybe you did in some type of other video, I don't know, but I want to know your opinion. What did you think of her statement about the whole age her up? older audience looking at her drawings of Carmelita. I wanna know. And uh, for other stuff, do the usual, you know. And yeah, I've been Vivi, and thank you so much for watching.